Is it okay to leave a dead baby bear in Central Park? And why do you still support RFK Jr.? So you find a corpse. What do you do with it? You burn it? You bury it? You destroy it? And so you put it in Central Park. And what happens? You put it there and people become aware that roadkill exists. And they become aware that these things die. It's better than just burning it, burying it, right? It didn't kill the bear. You know, if you're an environmentalist, one of the things you do as an environmentalist is you try to create awareness that human beings have an impact on the environment around you. We burn the rainforest down. We massacre lots of animals. We cause all kinds of environmental damage. If you do scuba diving in Australia, you can see the Great Barrier Reef and it's bleached now. Massive, massive amounts of it. That's really inconvenient for your delicate lifestyle, isn't it? But if it's in your face and you see it and you feel it, you start realizing that maybe we as humans should be good custodians of the world around us. And if we see some of the ugliness and consequences of modernity, then what that does is it makes you take a step back and say, is there perhaps a more sustainable way for people to live in the world? And if there isn't, well, then we just have to accept that generations that come after us, every generation will see less and less biodiversity and less and less of the species that we grew up with, the things we took for granted will no longer be on this planet. They'll be extinct. They'll be gone. It's hard to be an environmentalist because it's an uncomfortable thing and you're fighting against, in some cases, progress, or at least reminding people that progress isn't free and that true progress is lifting everybody together. He's a good pig.